Hello, beer drinkers. I'm Bobby Covina. And I am Professor Bill. And this is the, the West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. So, what do we have on the agenda today, Bobby K? Brown ales. All right. Awesome. They're brown. And they're ales. Roasted malt. Delicious. All right. So, let's take a look at what we're at. Up first, we have the Newcastle. Made in Newcastle. Next, we have Moose Drool Brown Ale from Missoula, Montana. Missoula. Moose country. Yeah. And bear country. Another fairly uh, stock one, the Samuel Smith's Nut Brown Ale. All right. Bear Republic Tribute Ale. This tributes to Pete Brown. That's probably why they call it a brown. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the Rogue Hazelnut Brown Nectar, which I have not tried. Oh, I love it. Professor love Bill it. Has, so that'll be cool. And then our kind of, uh, of dessert, yes. if you might want to call it, uh, Dogfish Head Palo Santo. It's a brown ale, but very... It's 12%. Yeah, so 12%. It's, it's going to be the finisher. Yes, crazy. So uh, let's take a quick look at the history of brown ales, and we'll do some tasting. Brown ale is a style of beer with a dark amber or brown color. Caramel and chocolate flavors are evident. The term was first used by London brewers in the late 17th century to describe their products. 18th century brown ales were lightly hopped and brewed from 100% brown malt. Beers that are classified as a brown ale include sweet, low alcohol beers, medium strength amber beers of moderate bitterness, and malty but hoppy strong beers. Brown ales from northeastern England tend to be strong and malty, often nutty, while those from southern England are usually darker, sweeter, and lower in alcohol content. North American brown ales are usually drier than their English counterparts, with a slight citrus accent or aroma. All right, so here we go. Here's Newcastle, our first one out of Newcastle, England. Or as the great uh, jazz drummer Buddy Gussett calls it, the brown elixir, elixir of life. He doesn't like good beer. It smells nutty, brownie. Yeah. Not like a brownie, like brown. If brown had a, a scent, it would be this. Mm. Solid, drinkable. Sweet. Sweet up front. I like it. I know why I've enjoyed this for many years and thought that this was about as good as it gets. Yeah, this is about as like un unbeer like of a finish. Like people that don't like the taste of beer and they're like, ah, that you know, this I think that's why a lot of people that don't drink beer will drink Newcastle. Yeah. Because the finish is just like N non existent. Apple pie is yeah. just like hmm. Okay, so number two, Moose Drool. Moose Drool. From Big Sky Brewing in Missoula, Montana. Missoula, Montana. Population of eight hundred thousand in the whole state. No kidding. Wow. They have one area code in the whole state of Montana. It was delicious. Yeah. I'll have to get this as a cologne. Unless you get pulled over. It smells delicious. Nutty. Hmm. It's way more bitter than the um, Newcastle. Yeah. It has a great it's nose. It's got a coffee, right? Has, coffee. Yeah. I like the nose, I like the finish, but the middle, I'm not getting much on. It's almost like I have a cold. Whenever I take a sip, I just, the flavor disappears. You know, when you're sick, you, whatever you have doesn't taste like anything. Not as much flavor as I would hope. I'm getting nuts and caramel and, and coffee all rolled into one. Yeah. Caramel at the end. But, Nope, nothing really up front though. You're not getting that coffee though. Up front? No, like in the in the middle and the finish. Yeah, in the middle and the finish, but nothing up front. Where Newcastle is just kind of polite throughout. Yeah. This is more intense. Definitely more intense. Yeah. If Newcastle is not enough flavor for you, then but this is the next bump up. For I'm sure. not digging the aftertaste as much, but see, I like the finish, but not the the middle part as much. Samuel Smith, the Nut Brown Ale, ah. from Tadcaster, England, using the original well. They sunk a well, I don't know, like 400 years ago, still using the same well water. 
The oatmeal stout's delicious. Delicious. Not much on the nose compared. I like the color. Beautiful color. Much more of a head when we pour this compared to any of the others. It's got a little fizz, too. Yeah. Yeah, way more carbonation. It's getting a little citrus note. Do you get that? It's weird yes, for an yeah. English one. They usually don't. Smooth and citrus. Do you guys get any citrus? Yeah. Just like a, it's like front a little bit of, and then and then that yeah. bitter and the coffee tones kind of come in. I get more citrus than I get um, nut. Yeah. That's good. Really smooth. Really smooth. If I were to uh, put this as an article of clothing, I would say this is a tuxedo with a bow tie, not with the, you know, the straight tie that the gents wear now. The bow tie. Yeah, this would be good with a nice steak. Yes. Yeah. 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 While we're at it, anything barbecue is awesome with the brown ales. Yeah, I don't know why with all these I'm getting that, not an overpowering coffee, but it must be the way they roast the malts on the browns or something. I'm just getting that little hint of like a good coffee, like a really good cup, where you're like. Like the Blue Mountain Coffee from Jamaica, where it's just, that's what I'm getting. I still haven't been to Jamaica, but thanks. Not the like coffee stock kind of thing where you're just tasting espresso, it's just a different. All right, so this is the Bear Republic. This is the Tribute Ale, ah, an tribute. American Brown Ale. So you have the English Brown Ale, American Brown Ale, slightly different styles, we just kind of put them all together. This looks like a black it's ale. Look dark. It's like a stout. Dark. Man, you can't see through that. Yeah. Bear Republic does good stuff, looking forward to this one. Ooh, sweet, roasted, malty, caramel. Oh my God, I take it back. I want this as a cologne. That wouldn't work, though. I mean, anywhere you go, you smell like beer. And it's typically not good. Good beer, though. Good beer, yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, my gosh. I'm just bottle this and open it up and just sniff drink it. it man. It's... it's got a sweet. Boy, that's sweet. This is rich. Really sweet, yeah. Very intense. A lot of. Infinitely more complex than anything so far. I don't even know where to begin. How do you. I'm getting all sorts of stuff like the caramel, the coffee. Might have to phone a friend on this one. The nut, yeah. <laughs> Was that a millionaire reference? Well, yeah. Like our studio audience, how would you yeah. describe this? Because I'm getting so many. It's like a. Intense, it hits you like right, like you're getting slapped in the face. It's that hard. I could be wrong, but I feel a little bit of hops and a little bit of that floral bite to it. Yeah. There's more hops than the other ones we got. Way more hops than the others. That's what it is, yeah. 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 Hops. So, hops, that's what it is. But then it's got that malt, it's got like the a, intense amount. It's like a lot of hops and it a does. lot of malt. And a lot of malt and a lot of barley. It has everything. It's rare that I can taste all the different ingredients. Long finish. Yeah. But I, I'm getting lots of malt, lots of hops, and that's, that's hops rare. Hops finish, too. Yeah. This is phenomenal. This is great. If you like a lot of flavor, you, yeah. Like, yeah. this would be great to have with a cigar or something. Mmm. Maybe even it. dip it? That's weird. If you don't have some 50-year-old <laughs> scotch, then you just... Yeah, with this? Yeah. You can dip your cigar in scotch. I do that. <laughs> I was told that... Is that not what you do? I, I, I've never heard that. Before. All right. That doesn't mean... Right. Maybe they were... Not with this? Yeah. All right. They were just messing with me, yeah. and I find out about it now. Cool. Thanks. All right. All right. So now we're up to the Rogue Hazelnut Brown Nectar. Yeah. Rogue up in Oregon. I love this one. Beautiful color. Beautiful golden wow. caramel oh, no, color. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that nose, hazelnut. Especially Ooh. compared to everything else, this is just crazy hazelnut nose. Oh my gosh, almost, you know, compared to the Bear Republic Tribute, this almost tastes like the, uh, the coffee creamers, the hazelnut that you would squirt into a pump of the hazelnut. I'm getting that much hazelnut. God. Wow. This is a great one to do right after the Bear Republic. Yeah. To so much hazelnut. Really sweet and smooth. Kind of tip of the tongue, almost a, an acidic. Yeah, I'm getting that tart, a little bit of that um, 
citrusy, but in a in a bitter way, yeah. like the rinds of acidic front. Uh, yeah, good, really good. Toffee, complex, but just in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Words. Not as not as rich. I yeah. think it's like flavor, but not overpowering. It's kind of it's a world apart from the tribute. All right, so here we are at the tail end of the browns. And, and this by is, brown, we mean black. This is like the black hole of the brown ales. Yes. This like sucks up all the light in the room. Uh, yeah. Must be the Darth Maul of Whew, ears. Look at that. And at 12%, it's worth noting, though, how that this uh, dogfish head put a lot of tender, loving care into their brewing. Oh, and, um, vanilla oak. This is aged oh in Paraguayan... Palo Santo wood barrels. Nice. Ten thousand. The biggest ones they've built since Prohibition. Since before Prohibition. Ten thousand yeah. gallons. So yeah. kind of cool. So anyway, it's named after the wood, the Palo Santo Marone. Ooh. Did we already say twelve percent? Twelve percent. Smells. I'm getting more alcohol than I like. Yeah. Well, twelve percent. You kind of hard to hide it. Yeah, they do. They do a good job though sometimes. All right. Here so we go. Much vanilla, so much vanilla. Just gotta dive in. It's like being at the edge of the diving board. You gotta do it. That's intense. Whoa. Whoa. Yikes. Whoa. <clears throat> Very woody. Earthy. Yes. You, 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 <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tastes like walking through Home Depot. <laughs> you see that little kid that just like chews on the wood? And his dad's like, let's go. Uh, that kid would love this. Oh my gosh. I have it's, never tasted Palo Santo wood before, but now I know what it tastes like. I think it's overpowering with the, the nice. wood flavor. I wonder how long they aged it for. I don't know, too long. Uh, I mean, it's. I feel like I'm going to sneeze from the the wood. Yeah, like there's, there's too much wood. I don't know. It's intense. Well, maybe I need to come back to this in a couple of years when I know more about yeah, the beer. Yeah, I, I can tell that this is a great beer. It's just that I don't know enough about it. There's just a lot of really, really wood, not it. even oaky, but wood. We had it right before, a two by four in your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like that girl you go on a date with, and she's like way out of your league, and then, you know, you go on with life, and you get a couple degrees, and but then you come back and go, oh, I can now converse with her. That's, that's like this. Do you do that beer. often? No, just a few times. But um, this is this beer is way over my head, and I'm humble enough to admit it. So yeah, if you know a lot about beers and you're watching this, then I would. And you haven't. If you know a lot about beers, you're probably not watching this. There's people who know a bit that's about beers. True. A bit about beers. Yes. Yeah. He doesn't know this much about beers. I think we're idiots. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for the Professor Bill Rundown and Pick of the Week. Yes, so Rundown, we have the Newcastle. It's just like a staple. When you think brown ale, you think Newcastle. It's good, it's drinkable, it's smooth, and that's that's about it. Going on to the uh, the Moostrel. Moostrel, I thought was, you know, change of pace. I think same level as, as Newcastle, but a little different. Now instead of wearing a blue polo, you're wearing green polo shirts. The Samuel Smith Nut Brown Ale. There you go. Uh, that one's kind of acidic, not as nutty as I would hope. Uh, by itself, it's quite drinkable, but I think compared to the others, it decent. The Bear Republic, the Tribute Ale. That one's just infinitely complex. I could drink the Tribute Ale for the next ten years and taste something different every time. It's it's phenomenal. Really interesting, complex. It was malty, it was hoppy, it was barley y. It's awesome. Is that a word? Barley y? Barley y? Yeah. Yeah, you just add a y and it becomes an adjective. Trust Did we me. have an English teacher in the audience? Yeah. Was that good? Yes? No? Absolutely, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank Language you. Evolved. Rogue hazelnut, just crazy hazelnut, especially compared to the Bear Republic tribute, just over the top hazelnut. Really smooth, kind of tangy, acidic, tip of your tongue, just tangy. It's amazing. Thoroughly enjoyed, amazingly drinkable. Love it, love it, love it. Finally, our dogfish head, Palo Santos. It's a two by four in your mouth. Too much wood. Uh, it's, I don't know. We can't play with it just yet. We have to grow up a little, I think. 
or maybe never. Just it's it's a lot. Too much wood for Bill. <laughs> All right, so it's come down to the final moment. Pick of the week. Pick of the week. The Bear Republic tribute. Brown Ooh. ale. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. You can't please all the people all the time. Yeah. And most of those people are in our audience. Yes. So there it is, our pick of the week box. Uh, it was definitely between the Bear Republic tribute and the, uh, the Rogue Hazelnut. I mean, those are both just, I think, heads and tails above. Is that even a saying? Above everything else. Those two just were amazing. Um, I don't know. Tomorrow I might pick the hazelnut ale. But this was just, this was amazing. In fact, so many people liked it. The only thing I get to enjoy is another you know, three ounces of that. So, it's not as epic as I would like for the ending. But there you have it. It's delicious. It's complex. It's malty. It's hoppy. It's barley y. It's, it's everything you want in a beer and more. Touch me right here. So. You're never supposed to go up with your voice, this. Right. Asking the question. You can cut that out. So, so anyway, uh, there it is. I am Professor Bill. Bobby Covina. Saying, now that's a, a beer. beer.